Hi everyone, I'm Alex. What you see here on the screen is a live feed from an actual Android phone that Daniel over here is holding. What we're gonna do right now is take a picture of the audience, so smile everyone and try to make this picture memorable. I promise we're gonna get back to this picture later, but for now, like I said, I'm Alex, Daniel, Syed, Maciej, Firestone, and our mentor is Steve Strassman, and we are Team Memento. Memento is a photo organizer for people who like taking pictures. Unlike Picasso, it uses the phone's location awareness to automatically group your pictures into albums, allowing you to share extremely easily. So now let's take a look at who our user is. Our user is Alice. She's a 20-year-old college student studying literature in BU. She's outgoing, and she loves to take pictures on her phone. Alice's problem is that all her pictures get added to a single list on her phone, such as this one. So if she were to take 50 pictures, say, corresponding to four different events, and she only wanted to publish one of these events, she would have to go through and handpick the ones that she wanted to publish. Now, you know how people are. She has neither the time nor the patience to do this very often, so she usually just doesn't bother. Now, what Alice would really like is to never have to sit down and organize pictures again. And this is what Memento allows her to do. It grabs her pictures and sorts them according to the events that she went to, allowing her to publish to a variety of different backends. Now let me introduce Syed, who's gonna run us through a typical user scenario. All right, hello everyone. Our typical user scenario is basically a weekend for Alice. She is finished with her schoolwork and she wants to hang out with her friends and who can really blame her? So she starts out at her dorm, calls up her friends and, start, uh, and waits for them. Once everyone is gathered, they decide to go to a bowling place nearby and afterwards they decide to have dinner at their favorite Italian restaurant. Naturally, Alice takes lots of pictures during the day now, at the end of the day, she only wants to upload pictures from the bowling event because the other pictures she took were goofy and not that great. <coughs> now, rather than going through all the pictures she took during that day and having to manually select the ones for bowling, she would much rather appreciate if she had some sort of organization on the phone. And let's take a closer look at how Memento will solve Alice's problem. Uh, so we're experiencing uh, technical difficulties. Let's see if we can get the screen up. All right. So after, after a full night of fun, when she gets back home for the first time and she's really tired, we'll show you the main screen that she sees when she opens up Memento. And what you'll see is that Alice is really delighted by the fact that the three different events she went to have been automatically grouped into three different albums for her. Now, this is the first time that Alice opened up Memento, so there are no titles or descriptions but to quickly publish the album of interest, which in this case is bowling, all she has to do is tap on this particular album, quickly add a title that she feels is appropriate for the event, in which case that will be bowling. She saves it, and now she will select the back end she wants to upload to, and now we'll upload to Facebook. Memento remembers her username and password, so when Alice, as soon as Alice presses the publish button, her memory will start getting uploaded to Facebook and she's free to do whatever she wants right now. She can open up other applications, start uploading other albums, and that's it. Memento will take care of everything for her. So as you can see, Memento easily solved Alice's problem. She was able to upload her pictures, her albums, and they were automatically organized for her. Now, let's take a closer look at Memento in a nutshell. Memento as the application. Now, Memento is a lot more than something that simply allows you to upload to the web. Here are a few cool features of Memento. Now, firstly, Memento is really easy to use and really convenient. This is because to start using Memento, you have to do absolutely nothing. Just take pictures using your phone like you normally would, and Memento will start organizing them for you automatically in the background. Secondly, Memento is really easy to customize. Now imagine you're going to France for a week, and you want all your pictures to be put in a single album. With Memento, all you have to do is to tell it to group by a week, and that's it, you're set. Finally, Memento empowers users through choice. Currently, we allow users to upload to Facebook, Picasa, and Blogger, but if that's not enough, the really cool thing about Memento is that it's written more like a framework which exposes an API with which any third-party plugins can integrate with. So as Memento becomes more popular, expect to see a lot more choice for users written by third-party applications. So that was Memento in a nutshell. Let's take a closer look at how Memento organizes your pictures for you and what really differentiates Memento. For that, I hand it off to Daniel. Hi. We'd like to take a minute to tell you about how Memento organizes your photos. Now, these are some pictures that we took while walking around MIT recently. 
The pictures in blue were taken last week, while the pictures in red were taken earlier today in this very room. Now, as it happens, a typical photo organizer would take all of the blue pictures and organize them into a single album because it only knows when they were taken. But this isn't really correct because they were taken in two different places and represent two different events. Memento knows where you took your pictures and it'll organize these into three different albums. In fact, Memento has a map view that allows you to see your albums on a map. And this is a feed from the live phone, including the photos that we took earlier. Now, I think Alex would like to tell us what happened to that picture we took at the beginning. Exactly. So as we go through each of these albums and we publish them, we find that they are reflected on Facebook immediately. So as we can see over here, we see that there are three albums corresponding to the three different events. We can select, for example, the final presentation, which represents this precise room. And we find that the pictures that we took earlier today in this very room, along with the picture, if you remember, that we took at the very beginning of the presentation, have all been grouped together and have been published to Facebook for everyone to see. So now you know how a memento is simply a matter of click, browse, and share. Thank you very much.